Hi, this is Ian Coleman and this is this week's video analysis for uh, the FX majors going into the week uh, 8th of October 2018. Now we're going to start with Euro Dollar. Uh, we're going to have a bit of an emphasis on Euro Dollar, Sterling Dollar and Dollar Swiss. And then we're going to talk about the other currency pairs, uh, what we're uh, looking at this week, uh, formations and also our bespoke support and resistance levels. So Euro Dollar, uh, we saw well, we have seen quite an aggressive move to the downside. Uh, this is a level that we've noted for some time, 114.60, uh, which is trendline support. It's possibly reverse head and shoulders. So left shoulder, head, right shoulder, uh, this being the neckline. We are long, as it says here. So we bought euro dollar at 114.65. Um, quite interesting uh, on uh, a DMARC uh, analytical point of view is that we've got an eight count on the daily chart now a nine count normally dictates uh, that we at least get uh, a correction to the upside so we are still bullish there is scope for mild selling uh, i believe on monday uh, 115.93 is our uh, bespoke resistance going into this week which is also a swing high here uh, so we might get a reaction to the downside but like i said we are bullish overall if we look to the weekly chart uh, we've got an impulse five wave count to the downside. We're now assessed as being in an ABCD formation higher, a choppy ABCD formation higher. Um, a full correction brings us to 119, uh, sorry, 119.75. Uh, we've got bespoke resistance here, which is at 118.68, and it's between uh, the 50 and 38.2% uh, pullback level. So this is really going to be our focus. Um, over the next couple of weeks. Sterling dollar, we highlighted uh, this formation uh, on Friday. It's an ending wedge pattern. Uh, we had a bullish outside day, often indicates the end of a trend and the start of a move uh, to the upside. Uh, we've broken through uh, the trend line. Reverse trend line support is at 130.07. We've got bespoke support now at 130.53, which is basically our trigger level. Uh, for our long trade uh, last week and the measured move target is at 132.18 so that's the immediate uh, bullish bias if we go to this chart and this is the weekly chart again an impulse move to the downside this move higher is deemed to be corrective uh, but far from over as far as we're concerned um, let's just move this over 132.20 is uh, the trend line resistance going into this week a break there and the ABCD corrective formation takes us up towards this 50% uh, pullback level at 135.19 um, dollar Swiss really interesting uh, this pair uh, I believe from a technical view and first of all we're going to look at the daily chart so we had a uh, five wave pattern as far as Elliott wave is concerned to the downside we then add this um, morning doji star uh, formation on the daily chart we've had this impulse move to the upside however we've posted two things on friday we've posted a doji style candle often highlights the end of a trend we've also posted one of these dmark nine counts on the daily chart so we're trying to decipher sort of what's going on here if we go to this two hour chart this last move so we're talking about this impulse move to the upside can also be seen to be stalling uh, reversing close to the 261.8% extension level and the reason why I say that's strange and if we go to the weekly chart is because we have an impulse move to the upside on the weekly chart this was that five wave count remember on the daily chart to the downside and then that intraday chart the five wave count to the upside now if we look to Elliott wave and we re review or view this whole move lower as being corrective then this leg is normally five uh, five waves, but this leg is normally three waves, and then this leg is either five or three waves. So it is quite strange, but um, I think this is going to offer quite a decent risk reward trade going into this week uh, because we've if we play out this AB equals CD formation, if we look to the left hand side, 94.50 has been pivotal, and it could then form a reverse bullish head and shoulders pattern so this being the left shoulder this being the head neckline and then coming down to form this right shoulder so although I'm sort of hesitant hesitant 
to sell into such um, impulsive moves. Um, we have got a nine count, like I said, we have got a 261.8% extension level. And I believe the four hour, the two hour and the eight hour chart have all posted bearish outside candles. So we don't really like to stand in front of the train, but this does look like this uh, this this impulse move uh, could be reversing, at least for the short term, uh, if not for the medium term. So it's going to be one of our main focuses going into uh, this week, uh, dollar Swiss. Dollar Yen, and I'm just going to run through these uh, these other majors now and just highlight the, what we regard as being the most important chart formations. Um, intraday, uh, Dollar Yen, two hour, looks like a head and shoulders on the uh, short time frame. Uh, breaking to the downside. The most important thing for for me here is the fact that the 261.8% extension is very close to our bespoke support at 112 the figure and I think that's going to be uh, the focus level at the beginning of the week. Dollar CAD uh, broken uh, the wedge formation to the downside. This is the weekly chart. To the upside uh, we have now closed the gap as well. Uh, so I think buying is going to be limited at the beginning of the week. However, we have got bespoke resistance at 130.05 uh, uh, and support down here at 124.52. Uh, Aussie dollar, and this is the uh, the eight hour chart. And if we think about what's happening with the dollar, we're reversing the dollar bias on sterling dollar. We're reversing the dollar bias on euro dollar. Potentially reversing the dollar bias on uh, dollar Swiss. So here again might be a, quite a decent opportunity to get long in Aussie dollar at the beginning of next week as we see dollar bears emerge and obviously that would that would reflect back onto this uh, this currency pair as an Aussie dollar buying opportunity. 261.8% uh, is located at 170.20. First bespoke resistance is, is located at 70.90. I'm unsure how much of an upside rally we're going to get in this pair because we have got very strong resistance here at 72.80. So maybe a move higher up to resistance, move lower again towards support. We might see some sort of mixed and volatile price action. But at the moment, I wouldn't be looking at selling uh, Aussie dollar. I'll be looking at reversal formations around about 70.20. Uh, Euro sterling, and we've been talking about this one for a while, we have broken uh, the... Uh, head and shoulders formation to the downside. Uh, early next week, we've got bespoke resistance at 88.32. That is our break line. So maybe a test to the upside uh, before we move again lower. Um, measured move target is around about 85.80. Euro yen. And this is the daily chart. I think that we're going to get limited selling. The, the bias is still bearish. Uh, we're in a bearish channel formation. We can see for four days. Uh, Price action being mixed and volatile, but Friday did post a DMARC 8 count uh, on the daily chart. Uh, so a 9 count would basically highlight that we should see a correction, at least to the upside. Bespoke support is located at 129.98. Uh, we've got trend line support at 129.88. And we've got 61.8% pullback level of this impulsive move at 129.88. Uh, 86 so that sort of confluence area um, I'll be looking at this week and obviously it was a previous swing high so it was support sorry it was resistance it now becomes support to the downside uh, so yes scope for selling uh, but we're very wary and we'll be looking for buying opportunities uh, around about 129.90 going into this week okay uh, I hope you found that informative and we'll speak to you again soon Thank you. Bye.